Welcome to the 2019 Geico ESPN High School Football Kickoff presented by Buick. Today it's the Southern Columbia Tigers of Pennsylvania voyaging south to battle the Hammond Skyhawks here in Columbia, South Carolina. Throughout this weekend, you've been treated to some of the best prospects in the country, and today we showcase two of the top five. Well, obviously, wide receiver Julian Fleming for Southern Columbia is, he's a nightmare. He's a problem. A big, physical, long strider who we're going to see on defense as well. Five career interceptions returned for touchdowns in his career. He's going to punt. He's going to line up in different places on offense. This is a run-first scheme, but they want to try to get Julian Fleming involved as much as possible. And speaking of game wreckers on the other side, how about 6'6", 270-pound Jordan Burtz, who's going to be lined up at defensive end for him. And he is a guy that wants to live in this Southern Columbia backfield, someone who we'll see on offense as well and can be disruptive in many ways. I mentioned it is a packed house. They had to install extra bleachers in both end zones to accommodate all the fans of these two schools, including the over 500 that made the 10-hour drive from Pennsylvania. Hammond and Red, they'll receive the opening kickoff and fielded at about the 16-yard line. That's Cam Scott. And Hammond will take over first down and 10. We'll get a look at the first look at that Hammond offense led by their quarterback, Jackson Muschamp. And yes, if the last name sounds familiar, he is the son of the South Carolina Gamecock head coach, Will Muschamp. They have got some weapons, not just on the defense with Jordan Birch, who we're told we'll also see on the offensive side today, but they've got some talented skill players as well. Five wide look on third down. A little dump down pass, and that's going to be a first down over the middle completed to their top target. That's Andre Wilson, the 5'10 senior. Nate Crow on the stop after a pickup of 13. Birch behind Muschamp gets the carry. Here comes 270 pounds, and he's tripped up right near the line. Squeezed out a couple, but Cal Halliday, who's already committed to Michigan State, number 28, makes the tackle. I love it. Cal Halliday, intelligent, go low. No reason to try to take on 6'6", 270, upper body. Just about anybody in the country on a 50-50 ball. You see the number one wide receiver in the country. 65 career overall touchdowns for Fleming. And he's the intended target here, reels it in in front of Goodman and Oliver, nine yards on the pickup. Just a little deep out route for Julian Fleming. Sprint out by the quarterback. And you see outside release, watch him get out of his break. You get a guy with high hips like Julian Fleming has that can bend and get out of his break quickly. And that was a game that Gage Garcia did not play in. Quarterback's going to keep it. This is Zachman. Zachman has big time speed. Finds daylight down the far sideline. Touchdown. 37 yards for the Tigers. Stokes alone back for Muschamp. Cox and fires and threw that one long. It's picked off. That's Cade Lynn, the safety. And Lynn escorted out of bounds around the 35 yard line. Our first turnover of the day. South Carolina, that it is back in Pennsylvania. There's Fleming on a quick slant. Fleming has. His third catch of the day, that was five yards. You can roll a safety over the top all you want, but you're going to give Julian Fleming one-on-one. -on -one. It doesn't really matter where the quarterback puts it. He'll find a way to go catch it to be on a roster somewhere. First and goal from the nine. Zachman hands it off. Garcia met immediately in the backfield. A good pursuit that time by that Hammond defensive line. You know who we haven't called so far today? Jordan Birch and Boogie Huntley on that defensive line. Well, that's Boogie Huntley there, and I think one of the reasons, Mike, you haven't heard a lot from him is, first and foremost, they're going away from number seven, so they're trying to take Jordan Birch out of the game, but you see a lot of slants up front from Boogie Huntley, so they're, they're slanting him left or slanting him right, trying to allow him to penetrate into the backfield and cause chaos. Zachman rolling out, looking at Fleming, and it's knocked down, and there's Jordan Birch. That's a good way to make some noise. Make your presence felt, big fella. 6'6", 270. Get the big paws up. Knock it down. Love to see Jordan Burch affecting plays. To separate him from a lot of other recruits. Really delightful young man to talk to. We had a long chat with him yesterday. And 
goes to the air. That ball is on the ground. Loose football picked up by Southern Columbia. Jake Davis, the corner, pouncing on it. Instead, it's third down and goal. Again to the ground, Garcia. Garcia behind the left side and a touchdown for the Tigers. Five-yard scamper to make it 14-0. Gage Garcia, who needs just five more total touchdowns for the Pennsylvania state record. He'll be heading to Ann Arbor, become a Wolverine, plans on playing both football and being a part of the wrestling team at Michigan. Hopped on for the extra point. And it is true. Domination thus far by the boys from Southern Columbia farming community about 50 miles north of Harrisburg. Quick toss to Gage Garcia. And if you notice, big 15 there for him and Boogie Huntley, not blocked. So you're essentially turning him loose with the understanding that he's going to get upfield. You're not going to have to block him, not even reading him, just a quick. Jordan Birch lined up at the bottom of your screen as a wide receiver guarded by Julian Fleming. It's going to be a deep boy here, though, as they go deep to the other side. That ball is underthrown and intercepted. Jake Davis was able to camp under it. Wilson might have had a step, but the ball was underthrown, and that's the third turnover already on Hammond. He's up over the left tackle on second and 20. Fleming trying to find daylight, can't do it. Great tackle by Brig Brannon. Oh, Southern Columbia going the wrong way. It'll be third and long. Excellent pursuit from the Hammond defense, but watch big number seven, Jordan Burks. Use your hands, get off the block, come flat down the line of scrimmage. He does not allow Fleming to turn and get north and south because if he does, there's a chance he's going to be able to break a tackle and turn that into an explosive play. Somewhere at the next level, a high energy, high motor guy off the edge. The Hammond defense does its job. And yes, that is Julian Fleming who also punts the football. He takes pride in it. He says, I love punting. Mid to late 90s reference. Must champ. Oh, this has got a chance. Got a convoy ahead and a good open field tackle by Cade Lynn. Otherwise, Andre Wilson might still be sprinting. 12 yards and a first down. And off behind the right side and some daylight for Garcia. Garcia tiptoeing down the sideline and a touchdown, 31 yards. Touchdown, Southern Columbia. By alignment, there has been a short edge that has been given by this Hammond defense. That's a 3-4 defense. So your outside linebacker a lot of the time is the one that's going to have to come up and set that edge and force runs to be turned back inside. Hasn't been happening. Three-man front, I always believe attacking outside, but it starts on the right side of that offensive line, and it's an excellent block by Colin Duraski at right tackle. He seals the edge. And then, of course, Gage Garcia has a great feel. See the patience in the backfield, wait, and then burst to the sideline. On third and 10, Muschamp, the right was one complete. That's the best ball we've seen thrown today by Jackson Muschamp from Boston College. Has that one picked off? Oh, what a pick. It looked like it was going to be a deflection, and Ian Huntington holds on and takes it 39 yards for the score. What a play by the senior. This is a defensive lineman's dream. I mean, you, you knock down a lot of passes when you play D-line in high school. Very rarely do you knock a pass down and it just falls right in the bread basket. Sort of just a perfect deflection. I think he gets both hands too. No, just the left hand. He just tipped it right to himself. Excellent play, excellent hands, hand-eye coordination, wherewithal. That's just being a football player. Hands go up, stay with it, 40, 50 yards. Clock ticking away, 25 seconds. Muschamp, home run ball down the sideline. Leaping catch, what a grab, plus a penalty flag. Cam Scott selling out on the play and held on to the football, a 30-yard pickup if it stands. Like defensively to go quick. 
Again, Birch at the top of your screen. Again, they go the other way. This time over the middle, and that one got away from Muschamp. Stokes looked like he had a step on his man cutting over the middle, but Muschamp uncorked a bad ball. This is different for him. And they're going to go into him, and it's picked off. Picked off by Wade Oliver. And Oliver is strung down inside the 30. So finally a turnover going Hammond's way. Tigers have amassed over 200 yards rushing already in this game. Sackman with time, finds Fleming. Fleming to the 25-yard line. On first and 10 with a 29 point. This is just being nice to the best player on your team, Mike. This is just saying, hey, we, we got to keep you involved. Run a little crosser here, go make a one-handed catch, whoop. Yeah, just pitch it out there, I'll grab it. Watch this. Yeet. Bring it right in. It's ball skills right there. Yeah, that's just effortless. Mm -hmm. And Julian Fleming did that every time a football came his way. And again, when you talk to the young man, there's a gaping hole up the middle, and that's a touchdown. Roter Merle gashing him for 26 more yards in Southern Columbia has just taken over this game, particularly on the ground. 35-0. Well, that drive was a gash job. And the extra point sails through to make it 36 to nothing. And they have dominated this game from start to finish. And they'll start off this 2019 campaign at 1-0. A 36-0 defeat of Hammond. It wasn't all Julian Fleming, but when the All-American was out on the field, he showed you some glimpses of why he's ranked as the top wide receiver in America as he'll be heading to Ohio State. I think he showed you too, Mike, how he can affect a game. Mm -hmm. Being on one side of the defense, he can remove that side of the field. He can remove that receiver because, I mean, Jordan Birch is a guy that you want to try to take advantage of in a jump ball situation. They wouldn't even try it today when Julian Fleming was lined up in front of him. So, obviously, he helps in the punt game as well. I mean, we can, we can kind of make fun of it and laugh at it and have fun with it, but, I mean, he's a guy that can help flip the field when he's on special teams. He's a guy that doesn't really come off the field very often. So, just because he doesn't catch – 12 or 15 balls for two touchdowns. And just because he doesn't have 11 tackles doesn't mean he didn't impact this game. He showed me today why he's one of the best high school football players in the country. No question about it. Southern Columbia wins it 36 to nothing. We'll be back with more from Columbia in just a moment.